Calgan, welcome back to Naked Hardwood. Last time you saw me try to fit these joints real tight here between the top and the base. Got that pretty good. I hope that video helped you at all. Now I'm excited because that's the hard part and it's done. Today I'm going to route around to these edges, put a nice round over. Um, it's a pretty good sized bit, so I'm going to have to be careful here. And then I might do something with the routering and sanding and stuff on the legs and I'm going to sand this top. So, hope you enjoy. I don't know if you can see here, but this is a pretty good size um, router bit. It's going to put, it's going to be hard to hold on to. This top piece is pretty heavy. It's probably about 60 pounds or something like that. And this thing's on wheels, so really pushing it for safety today. But uh, I'm going to try to tie it down, make it as safe as possible, and safety glasses, all that good stuff. That's something. All right, here we go. There we go. So I have my rotor here. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time because, like I said, this is a pretty big bit and I don't want to kick him back on me. So I don't want to be here all day, but I don't want to, I don't want to hurt myself. So here we go. That setup sucks, and obviously I couldn't find my safety glasses, so I'm going to change this up a bit. Alright, the uh, mark of a true woodworker is improvisation. As you can see here, I have my drum sander, and it fit right between the outfeed table there. Perfect. We'll, we'll try that. So you might notice that I don't have any dust collector contraption on here. I really don't want to have the extra safety. I really don't want to have the extra entanglements. So here we go. So I line up my uh, router bits, even on the router table. I just have a clear piece of plexi, and I just adjust it until it just clears that first edge. It seems to work pretty good.
All right, there you go. Got a little bit of burning. That's all right. Uh, that'll all sand off. I don't know if you noticed, I didn't really wrap this corner. I kind of wanted to keep a sharp edge there instead of having it rounded off. They work pretty good. My uh, jig here was pretty badass. mentioned before, yes, it's heavy. Alright, so, uh, one thing to say about routering is I should have watched the first half of the video before proceeding to the second half of the bench. Um, if you can see here, I had some blowout because I didn't reset the router, and I just took the full cut and it just... So, good news for the people who wondered how I got this shape, because now I have to do it again and take out a good chunk of wood. In this, in this here shape. Um, getting the bulk of the shape, getting close to it, I used a power planer um, just to get it close. And then I use this here deal. It's like a chainsaw blade that goes on my grinder. See? Mm -hmm. And that gets it rough. And then I put this here on, on the grinder, which is just a big disc. It's kind of floppy on the edges. It kind of worked for getting it smooth. That's the last step. So I'm just going to try to take a little bit out of the middle here, try to keep the same feel of it, and take out a bunch of wood. It's going to get dusty, and this is not what I was hoping to do today. Alright, so I'm ready to go here. As you can see, I got my dust mask, my actual safety glasses this time. This is going to be messy. Uh, when I did it the first time, I did it outside, but now it's cold. That's not going to happen. So I'm going to just work it. I'm going to use this edge of the, the guard here as a, kind of a guide to hold it against the wood so I don't go too deep. Try to keep it as smooth as possible. I don't think this is something everybody can do, but I don't know. If you're a dumbass, cut the cord off your grinder first. So here we go. Alright, that's pretty close. I was going to go all the way across, but I think this might work. It doesn't look too bad from here. I'm going to put this thing on and uh, clean it up the rest of the way. And remember, this thing's kind of like a chainsaw, so it's not pretty. Oh, here we go. And that's how you do that. Next step, I'll go on the, just a regular palm sander and clean that up the rest of the way. <clears throat> that did pretty good. Alright, so I got the rough cut with this dealie. Then grinder. 
I'm going to go straight to a 80 grit on the palm sander to get the rest of the chops out. Alright, that's pretty good. Now I can go back to where I started and hopefully not screw it up again. Alright, I got that. Now I'm going to sand this down from all the burn marks from the router and it should be done for the day. wanted to get farther but rework kind of sucks. All right, so that's about it for today. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about what this top is. It's called Paralam, and it's kind of a cross between particle board and your regular plywoods, where they use stip strips of wood. I think it's hardwood, oak and whatnot. And then they just mash it together and glue it. It leaves a lot of voids and stuff like that. I'm going to cover that in a soon video on how I'm going to finish it. I did one of these before where I used wood filler, and that was hideous. So I'm going to try something different this time. But uh, that's about it for today. Um, next time I'm going to work more on the base. I have a lot of cleanup to do, a lot of sanding. I don't know what I'm going to do about these yet. That's it. Thanks for watching. Keep America beautiful.